I'd love to get a little bit into Tesla. What's happening with the robots? I mean, we're seeing they're dancing now, and it sounds like they're learning it from TikTok or video, from at least from what I hear. All of this comes out of Tesla's work on full self-driving autopilot autonomous driving that started around 2015 or so, so it's about a decade ago. So it's it's been a long quest that they've been on. At first, they worked for a long time, essentially building out a giant heuristic pile. So it's just if-then statements for hundreds of thousands of lines of code. So it's like, if it looks like this, then do this. If it looks like this, then do this. You can just imagine how complicated that would get. Because even just something as simple as a stop sign looks different from every single angle you could look at it. And if the light is slightly different, or if the sun's behind it, or X, Y, Z, it doesn't even matter. So just about two years ago, they were like, look, let's scrap this. Let's go to a neural network end to end. We'll just do it like that. That was sort of the major unlock. And it took them obviously two years to redo all of this, but they threw away 300,000 lines of code, at least according to Elon Musk. And my assumption is that that, because they've talked about this before, it's not just a neural network. I would assume it's a bunch of input stuff for the cameras and whatnot, and the inertial measurement units and everything. So you've got these inputs, then you've got like different neural networks, and then probably some sort of big one in the middle, maybe a mixture of experts kind of situation. We don't know because they don't tell us. And then out on the other end of it, they have probably a bunch of different heads, different like um, possible things that it could do. For example, braking, steering, uh, but also just things like, hey, I don't know what's going on right now. Maybe I better loop this back in again and ask a question of the network. So I know they also do Monte Carlo tree search because they'll do things like they'll project out into the future. If the car goes here versus here versus here, what's the likelihood of what's going to happen? And it will make decisions based on that and adjust and then do tree searches. The thing that just boggles my mind is not that they can do this, but the fact that they can do it on basically a laptop, right? This thing's sitting in a car. Now it's a little more hefty than that. It's it runs. I think it runs on the order of 100 to 150 watts. So it's it's a substantial chunk. So it's more like a desktop machine. Still, I mean that's nothing. You look at these data centers like ChatGPT. When you ask it a question, it goes out and it kicks it over to like 100,000 Gs or something, right? Whereas the car is driving in real time, 36 times a second. It's updating itself on on essentially just a, a personal computer equivalent piece of hardware.